Hey guys, uh, I've been rooting and flashing, so uh, I just wanted to show you uh, the Lollipop ROM for the Galaxy S4 Mini uh, based upon CM12, uh, which is quite a cool ROM. Uh, it's quite stable, unlike some others I've tried a couple of weeks back and uh, promptly uninstalled those. Uh, but uh, I have been having a play with it and uh, making sure everything works and I can say that it's uh, much more stable than some other uh, ROMs for the S4 Mini and uh, as you can see it is uh, quite a uh, like a stock build uh, you're getting quite like a stock implementation uh, without your touch whiz on there so you do lose some of the stuff that you may be used to such as your uh, air gestures and things like that but uh, it does uh, provide some interesting features in itself uh, which should uh, prolong the life of your S4 Mini still an excellent phone uh, with very good specs for saying it's uh, kind of like a low to mid range handset uh, and uh, obviously you do get uh, like your lollipop interface in regards to the new notification area uh, I'm not going to go too much into these things so I'm sure you've seen a, a thousand other videos of them uh, but uh, it is, uh, as you can see, a very lollipop uh, uh, UI and uh, if you swipe to the right you can get access to your Google Now which is uh, very convenient and uh, as you can see it comes up with basically information which is relevant to you and uh, it's quite uh, useful for when you just want to quickly look at what's going on uh, you do get like notifications coming up every now and again up here uh, as well as on the actual lock screen uh, which tell you your Google Now stuff as well as uh, missed calls and things like that and downloaded apps so I think the focus is definitely keeping you informed uh, but uh, other than that uh, you get uh, you don't get quite as many uh, customization options when it comes to the. Uh, let me just uh, get rid of that and go into the this area. So on the CM Remix mom, you could actually choose like uh, different uh, animations when you are like uh, going into your app drawer and things like that. But you don't get that on this ROM. Uh, but uh, you do get quite a lot of. Uh, different wallpapers you can put on the device uh, which is quite nice for example I've got a, a CM wallpaper on there you can try a different one though so uh, quite a few different wallpapers on there which is quite nice uh, and uh, in terms of the uh, multi-user support that's working as well that was a particular issue with uh, a different ROM I tried I couldn't get it to work whatsoever on this device but uh, if you just click there and you can see I've set one up called Zelda of all things and uh, you just click there and then you enter Zelda's profile which I'm sure she'll be pleased and then if we go back into my profile you see it's very quick and uh, stable in the way it does it now this is quite a uh, advanced version of Lollipop, so you are running quite uh, recently released software, uh, which is 5.0.2, uh, which is quite nice. Obviously, you don't want to be running uh, like older Lollipop software, so uh, it's good that uh, they have kind of uh, pushed out the latest one and. Uh, in the actual settings, you know, it's uh, you get quite a few different things you can change, such as the uh, actions when you press buttons, as you can see. Uh, you can use the home button to answer calls. Uh, you can also actually double tap uh, the like this area to turn off the device, which I think is really cool and uh, I don't think it supports double tap to turn it on but then again you can use the home button because it is a Samsung device and uh, you can long press for example to bring up search so there are some cool 
uh, like uh, gestures you can set in the settings which do replace some of the TouchWiz functionality. Uh, you get your multitasking thing as well which is very nice, uh, pleasant and uh, quickly get rid of them. And uh, so on your lock screen it's uh, as you can see very easy to get into the dialer and uh, you can see everything's working as it should Hello, your remaining is one pence by the way did you know you can now might need to top up uh, and uh, if you go back to that and go into the camera and uh, you do get the Google camera on here uh, which uh, seems to do the job and obviously you get your uh, all your Google kind of settings like your panorama, lens blur etc and the ability to set different uh, options for the camera which is quite nice so uh, other than that uh, you get uh, quite a few different apps with the actual ROM such as uh, uh, or this there's a music app on here somewhere this one <clears throat> so uh, if we just show you This. So you can have some fun with the audio settings here, got a different uh, reverb on quite cool and uh, there is some other stuff on there as well such as uh, this one which seems to be able to calibrate the display a little bit better or even have it on inverted mode if you wish it's quite funky <laughs> so uh, I think uh, I'll stick with the traditional though so uh, definitely some cool apps bung bundled with this particular ROM uh, you do get your system profiles as well so you can Put on different settings depending on what you're doing, such as uh, put your Bluetooth on when you get in your car, or mute the device when you want to go to bed. Uh, so uh, it's quite a full-featured ROM, for saying it's a stock ROM, uh, but you do get the benefits, obviously, of it being buttery smooth and fast. Uh, so everything's just really nice and you know going in and out and stuff. I mean, does this look like a two-year-old device to you? This could easily pass for uh, being a, like a newer device. Uh, so you have Lollipop to thank for that, I think. Uh, but yeah, I still love the Galaxy S4 Mini. And if you do, you should definitely check out this ROM. At the end of the day, your warranty is probably expired now because it is an older device. Uh, and uh, it is quite easy to install. I will post up a quick tutorial of how to get it on your device eventually, so look out for that. Uh, and uh, I hope you found the video informative, and if you did, please thumbs up it or subscribe. And I will see you next time. Cheers!